Welcome my legion mothers in my first special video for 100 subscribers. This video will be about my model collection and all models what I've done before YouTube and now. Here you can see my first model that I ever built. It is Fokker triplane. As you can see, paint job is horrible because I don't mixing the paints. Varnish is just from a ha ordinary hairspray. The symmetry is ah, oh. <laughs> it's not good model. I know that, but you know, it's my first model which I built ever. So I know some details is missing, and of course some paint missing, and the symmetry. Yeah, it is wrong. Here you can see my second model, which is Audi R8, and it is a car model. As you can see, it's sprayed with grey primer from Ken. Uh, as you can see, wheel is missing. <laughs> and here's the bottom side. And some details on the front. Here you can see the interior painting. And the seats was painted by the acrylic color. and same as the body and my first tank which is king tiger 2 from airfix built with uh, revel glue and paints was used by humbrol because this is a set you know set kit and i'm i'm glad with the result which is because it is my first tank ever And the second tank made by Revel and with my first diorama ever. This is, if I'm not wrong, Panzer 2 or 3. And this is from Battle of Afghanistan or African Corps, I think. And you can see some soldiers. And here you can see the tank just painted again with a sand color. And black. And finally, something heavier and more bigger. Here you can see ES2 from Zesda or Stalin tank. I just painted with animal colors with no thinning. I don't have thinner for this type of color, so I don't thin the paint and just paint it on the pure plastic. Here you can see something like a well bead, but it's not made by me, it's made by the glue because the glue was from the Revel, but that glue was making for the clear parts, <laughs> not for the plastic parts. So, uh, but, I, but, I, but I'm using it on this model, so... As you can see, bottom is not colored. And here you can see one of the famous Russian tank T-44 in 135 scale, again made by Zvezda. Here you can see I tried to make some highlights with uh, ordinary acrylic paint and same as like on IS2, I just painted with uh, animal color. And here you can see the horrible gap between hull. Here you can see my second car model which is McLaren P1. As you can see the window is not perfectly glued because I use for gluing the classic glue for plastic models and that's not good for clear parts. I usually use for clear parts the PVA glue which is more better for this. The whole paint job was done by the paintbrush and acrylic colors. Here you can see my first boat ever which is HMS Arc Real with uh, another boat and here you can see on the deck a few planes from US Army. The stripe was painted again with a paintbrush and with the masking tape. And here you can see the second ball, which is the Tribal Club Destroyer. And this boat looks quite good, I must say, but it is an old kit, so not, not much details. Here you can see another model from World War II. This is Hanumak SS-100 
and here you can see that I used first time wash from oil paint on the engine cover and again the clear parts are horribly mess because again the extra thin glue and the the geometry with wheels and with the whole bottom is not very good and of course fenders are placed wrong and again some wash on the engine cover here you can see the rocket which I use only uh, masking tape, ordinary masking tape and again the paintbrush and enamel colors and acrylic. Here you can see the Miller wagon for the rocket which is again uh, the terrible geometry and I think and I think it's good to have three models for a good price. Now you can see one of my biggest models and that is a Titanic and it is one of my most watched videos on my YouTube channel and I'm very glad and happy with the result of the Titanic. I know, I know, everybody's still talking about the chimneys, I know they are wrong. And here you can see one of my best model, almost one of my best models, and this is the Bismarck, the World War II famous German ship. Here you can see one of the famous planes, and that is Messerschmitt BF 109, with this uh, free color camouflage, and of course swastika on the back. Here, here you can see my effect on propeller the bottom of the Messerschmitt with a wash and highlighting panel lines with a hard pencil and that's all and here you can see the Russian plane which is Lavochkin E2 in 1 to 38 scale and the camouflage is from Czech Republic and of course the decals from Czech Republic Here you can see the bottom of the model, which I use for dirty work like oil paints and acrylic paints. And again, model in 1 to 38 scale, which is Panther with classic German camouflage and some damage on fenders, of course, on the turret from the bullet. We are going slowly to the end, and again, we have three models. Here you can see the transporter for the tank with camouflage sim similar to the German decals and the bottom is not paint because I still using uh, paint brushes on this model. And this is the trailer for the, the Leopard tank. Here you can see again some decals, not paint bottom and here you can see the leopard again camouflage from germany wash made from light dust oil paint dirty bottom of the tank and here you can see the turret and the panel lines first tank sprayed by airbrush and that is T90 with uh, some dirt and of course wash from oil paint on some panel lines and excess details and some new techniques that I try on this model I'm really happy with the result another 35 scale beast and that is famous USA tank Sherman M4 with a short muzzle brake, not like in the Fury movie, and I chose the camouflage from Battle of Alamein, of course with historical photos, here you can see again using a wash and streaking effect on the sides, nice wash on these numbers, again bottom very dirty, on the tracks using a very diluted color, sand color and here you can see the gun painted and highlight with a 
metal color. And this is my last model what I've ever built. It is the Tiger one with winter camouflage, but not with the like uh, scratching color, but with with the stripe camouflage. Here you can see the commandant of this Tiger one against some streaking effects, and I like this tank and the camouflage so much. It is one of my best models that I ever built. I am so much happy with with the result how it looks here you can see the number on the back and thank you for watching and see you next time